scan processing tray. Now, the biggest change we're experimenting with is relocating the hold down tabs here to the lid. This keeps them out of the way when you're loading 8x10 film. You'll just drop the sheet of film in there and then put the lid on and you're ready to go. Now, for smaller film, smaller formats like 5x7, there's, there's two ways that you can load this. Um, the divider has hold down tabs mounted to it. You can insert that in place and then to load the tray, just locate the end of those tabs with one set of fingers and then just slide the the film in underneath and that works pretty well the other option is to leave the divider out and just slide the film in against one end of the tray slide the other sheet of film against the other end and then locate the um, slots with your fingers and put the divider in um, by adding some slots and you'll see this in our 3d renderings down below by adding some extra slots along the side and providing some extra dividers, you'll be able to divide, divide the tray into six compartments or eight compartments to accommodate a wide variety of, uh, shall we say, legacy film sizes. So again, take a look at the renderings down below. We certainly appreciate your support and look forward to your comments and suggestions.